I was 11 years old when I accepted the Lord, uh, and uh, we, of course, were living in Ardodia and uh, had to go to Conway Springs because our church didn't have a baptism, uh, baptistry, so that's where I was baptized. Where were you baptized? I don't know how old I was. Well, it was after we were married, so probably 25 or so. But uh, I did that because I felt that God called me. And the fixing of our marriage, I think it's, it is, in a way, it has been the uh, saving of uh, 70 years of marriage and, and uh, that long life we've had together. And it's, no matter what it is, it's that God is with us no matter what. Yes. But there were times when the children were growing up and we were so busy with everything that we did not go to church as often as we should have. But then as we grew older, we realized that was one important part of our lives. Good job. Good job. So after 70 some years, I guess you, you, you get into a, I, I wouldn't well, like to say rut, but a, you know, a habit. Always needing God. Is that all you want to know? We really <laughs> sorry. We've really been blessed, though, with the two of us, and uh, and enjoyed life. And done lots of fun things, and it's uh, been a good life so far. Hope we have a few more years. You get to be our age, though, you don't know what is ahead. I, uh, I kind of a feeling of what God was and stuff like that. I was a farmer and stuff like that and everything like that. And then I had a... Uh, a book in the, in the grade school, and it was a carpenter book. It said about, well, this, he started this, and then started working on being a carpenter. And then, then I, that always stuck with, with me, and then, then we was there in the revival. And, uh, So it was going forward, and I said, "I no, I'm not ready." And I really felt that part that you just didn't go to the, be baptized, and that your faith until you was was ready. And it was, it was about two or three weeks later that I did went went forward. But it has been a, a part of our life and the struggle and just everything we've went through here. We've had to have faith of something, of leaving the farm with a bunch of kids and starting a new life in a, in a town when we was raised on a farm and thought that your farm life was just, that's what we was going to be. The ups and, that ups and downs <laughs> of the, our life. And uh, marriage and stuff like that. We've had our downs and stuff like that. But when God was there and brought us back to strong faith that what we should be in is just going to church and uh, being part of a fellowship. And it means so much to us now as our age. 
that not being able to go to church is, is something that's uh, it's, it's a, a hole that's had been filled to go to church and then to hear, hear the Word of God and then feeling, feeling Jesus Christ in our life. life. Mm -hmm. And he put me into something that I, I had a knack to do and to see and how to build something. And that was my enjoyment. That's fantastic. You built 20 some houses for Habitat. And can you think of a, a moment or a time when the person that was receiving the house was affected by that servant faith that uh, was encouraged by getting the house? <laughs> well, there's several of them that, uh, that really he felt like that they was really, oh boy, what, I, what I've got. And there's, there's some of them that will come in and recognize me now. And they said, oh boy, we sure appreciate the house. It's a group that is real special, the fact that they're they come from so many different de denominations, you know, the, the Methodists and the Baptists and the Catholics and the uh, Nazarene, and it, uh, they, they all 